Okay, guys. Let's head on inside here and see what's going on. Yep, just a greeter. Okay. So, Yakuza are in here. Should stand out pretty well, I hope. Hmm? Huh? Seems to be something going off over to the left over here. Let's, uh... Oh, we'll look around in a minute. Let's see what's going on. Oh. 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 Sounds like he got muscled out by some goons. They are probably the ones we're after, but that's a VIP area. Can't get up there. Uh, there's uh, the rest of this area here is just for general decor, but let's uh, let's take a closer up look. Got a big old dance floor nobody's using. Old timey dance show there. But, let's see. Uh, let's just wander around a little bit. Like I said, it's just kind of... The rest of it's just for appearances. The main premise of this is heading upstairs, which we can't do. But, I do have an idea what we could do here. We have our little weaselly fella down here to the south, who could possibly help us out. He might know how we can get the VIP section. Where is he? Hey, there he is. Uh, I don't care about her. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, a little much information there, pal. Yeah. Yeah, sounds sounds perfectly sounds pretty legitimate. Eh, figure it's worth messing with this guy for now. I don't have any other leads on how the heck to get up there, so uh, maybe he'll come through. And as if the uh, hemorrhoid thing wasn't a little too much information. Uh, hmm. Well, let's see what Kurokawa's got up his sleeve. Hmm. This guy didn't want to play ball. Well, yeah. Hmm. The in case you haven't picked up on it yet, the um, <laughs> the game doesn't pull punches on some little topics and things, and it was preserved when it was localized, thankfully. So. Yeah. That sounds like we got it. Fancy. Yeah, this guy is pretty helpful. We'll come back to him a few times in the future for uh, storyline stuff. I'll just say thanks, Kiryu. <laughs> yeah, dot 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 is a staple line of Kiryu as you're going to see quite a bit of. And yep, 
should be able to get in the VIP area. So let's go ahead and handle this and get ready for uh, a very interesting uh, little cutscene and bit of storyline. Oh, gotta use the other stairs. Seems legitimate. Alrighty. Well, let's see what's going on up here. I'll talk to y'all in a bit. お客さん、こっちの人やないね。うん。旅行でこっち来たんいや。じゃあ、お仕事うん。そんなところだ。おい、おなごの数が少ないやないけ。支配人はどこにおるんや。ちょっと、目合わせたらあかん。この辺で有
さった大阪湾に沈めたのか覚悟せや All right. Now we've got a few goons here. They're a little, they're a little tough. Or at least they have a lot of HP, is what I mean. But we got a few little things we can use to our advantage. Like that, instant takeout or takedown, rather. You know what I meant. I'd rather not abuse the same heat. Uh, Say heat finisher. So let's uh, let's see what else we got up here. As soon as I swim my way through these guys. Okay, I saw a table and a stool or something. Oop, I messed that up. Let's see, stool. Oop, triangle through it. That was a bit of a problem. That uh, if you aren't right there for the special. Yeah, there's a special uh, bench one. <laughs> if you aren't quite squared away with some objects, the triangle button as opposed to doing the special will throw the actual item. And I kind of have that issue with the stool in this fight, unfortunately. Let's try this again. Ah, satisfying. And we'll get the stool or stool equivalent later on. A little more storyline. See you on the bit. お見事や。すまんことした。うちの我が衆は血の毛が多くてのう。もうお帰りですか。お前らといると。<笑> さけがまずくなる。あんたは大したおどこや。気に入った。さっきの大人として怒らせてください。断る。大見合流会のおごりです。わしの顔立て立ってください。合流会。よし。この店で一番高い酒を持って<笑> ほんまにええ時をしとるわ。うちの組にもあんたほどの男はおりませんわ。関東の方やな。ああ。そうやろな。あんたほどの人が関西におったらすぐに噂が広まりますさがいに。お近づきの印にお名前教えてもらえまへ
龍はまだいい。関西が嫌なんです。竜に関西も道島もありゃしません。極道の世界で竜と呼ばれる男が、一匹でええんですわ。あんたもそう思いますやろ。まあな。<笑>あんたとは気が合いますな。俺も何かの縁や。ついでにもっとええ話、教えさせてもらいますわ。今夜の12時ちょうどカムロ町に派手な花火がドカンと一発打ち上がるんです花火わしが仕掛けた花火です一世一代の祭りが始まる祭りその幕開けの花火がカムロ町に上がるそして明日道島の竜は死ぬ何それでわしは本物の竜になる少し喋りすぎましたまあ桐生さんはごゆるりとくつろいでってくださいああそう一つ言い忘れました明日出かけるなら香水の一つでもつけていった方がよろしいどういう意味だあんたの体からプンプンにおうんですわ血の香りが桐生一馬さんほな仕掛けた花火12時一体何が始まるんだ Hmm Well we're out here Don't really know what's going on But you can see all the little、uh, text pop-ups Have people freaking out about something Does this guy have anything to say on the topic? Nope. He's repeating the same thing from before.、Uh, let's head east along the road and see what we come into. Hmm. That sounds relevant. Well, that screen they're talking about is at the far eastern end of the road. So let's head on down over there and see what's going on. We'll be stopped a few other times for folks to mention what's going on. These are automatic, by the way. The ones that I run into. Around the map a little bit, sorry. <laughs> hey, bro. Okay, now for real. Let's get ready for another cutscene. We'll see what's going on.
先ほど午前0時に神室町のミレニアムタワーで爆発が起きたところです詳しいことはまだ分かっていませんが爆発が起こったフロアには暴力団関連の事務所があると情報もあり事故以外の可能性もあるのことですこれが花火ああ、須藤です。ええ、残念ですが、倉橋課長の読み通りとなってしまいました。いや、まだ関西とのつながりはわかりません。ええ、そうです。やはり海外の組織が関係しているのではないかと思いまして。そうですか。わかりましたでは私の方も手配しますええあの任務は伊達さん以外にこなせませんからはいでは As you'd see, um, uh, Daigo wasn't really notified as to what we dealt with uh, regarding the previous night with Ryuji and all of his goons. So, we can go on to the next part, and that's going to be in the next episode, because that's going to that's gonna take a couple of updates. So, in the meantime, there were a few little loose ends, and since the edited footage is like 13 minutes of wrapping up these little side quests, I couldn't justify doing a separate video. So I'm just going to stuff them all in here. But um, here's one thing. Now that we've progressed a day, or at least to a certain point in the game, it'll now allow us to discover lo uh, locker keys, which will be little glinting items on the ground. There are 50 of them, both for Kansai and Kanto. I'm not going to show myself gathering them, but uh, I am getting them all. But, uh, yeah, I'll just be going around, grabbing all of them, and for the most part, the locker items just have little, uh, maybe some piece of armor, a weapon, healing items, and there are very few things that are actually really worthwhile. Like, there are a few things you can sell, a few things you can gift, to ladies, which is a thing in this, but the thing is, gifting to ladies is kind of a waste of money in this game. But, uh, that's something for an extra video way down the road. Oh yeah, and also if you don't hit select and you just idle, uh, you'll see Kiryu just stands here and starts smoking and he pretty much says what comes up on that menu. Okay, so down here I was, uh, grabbing this key. Mm-hmm. Oh, the issue with a lot of keys is that it's very hard to grab them. Like, there's a very small area you have to line up on before the game will let you actually loot it. And some of them are super close together, but this right here is not actually a key, even though it's glinting on the ground. Remember that, uh, that crane game from uh, last update, where I found that robot manager doll? Well, it's... looks like there's one on the ground here. It might be the same one. So... I wonder if we should go back to that uh, 
Sega arcade place and check on our buddy. See what's going on. really was the only doll in the machine. Robot Chief. I guess the robot manager is uh, an underling? Well, this is just a, a second quest. It's once again using the little, little crane game again. So, yep. He reminds us, but it's pretty much the only one inside here. So I used the exact same tactic I mentioned before, grabbing one off the front row, and as you can see on the very first try, I, uh, I hooked one. So, that's that. And look at that gravity. So let's skip ahead. Swiss watch. Now, we can sell that for quite a lot of money, but uh, you don't want to sell it. We'll come back to this in a bit, though. This guy's... We're not done with him on Quest quite yet, and I was on my way over for something else along here, and I came across this uh, lady just talking. I don't always go out of my way to talk to people, but uh, I just thought this was kind of weird. men who get off on blowing things up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, just a terrorist. How naive. Okay, so further up along the way, we run into another quest. Chuto. What? Oh man. Huh? Hmm. Either uh, either a crazy spring break uh, shenanigan is catching up to Rio right or Kiryu right here, or uh, well, this here's a scam. And I just noticed. I think I did it earlier. I referred to Kiryu as Rio. <laughs> uh, I miss Shinmu. So two hundred grand. Uh, n n no. This is a pretty silly scam. And some tough guy conveniently showed up to come to her rescue because we don't want to pay. Well, we all knew this was going to happen eventually.
City roughs. Oh no, not the roughs again. Oh, there's a bottle. There's a bottle. Oh, I didn't think that would kill him outright. Oh well. I'll get to use a I'll get to use a bottle eventually on somebody. That's been kind of my thing, even though you haven't seen it in the footage here. I've tried to go out of my way to use it in a few fights where you'd see a bottle and it'd never work out. <laughs> Yeah, you know how this quest thing's gonna go, but it actually reminds me of something I haven't mentioned before. Um, oh yeah, it wasn't a baby at all. It was a ball. But, uh, what I was kind of like what I was just referring to, you have random fights that, um, I'm gonna be removing almost all of them and editing, so you're not gonna be seeing them. But, uh, it's largely an issue in the next chapter. But uh, when you're walking around town, guys will run up and want to fight you, and they're in very key spots, and you essentially end up running into repeat uh, battle locations quite a lot. And it's kind of a nice thing, because the guys stop fighting you once you've hit, like, a level cap. So, essentially, you can't overpower yourself, and once you hit whatever cap that is, the enemies stop bothering you entirely. And the first one, something happened very early on, like when I first played the game, and I was running into guys almost every step of the way, and I ended up hitting the, a, um, uh, a level cap of sorts pretty early, and I didn't end up seeing any more random fights till almost halfway into the game. It was very weird. But, uh... Yep, there's that handled. So the scam artist just, uh realize we weren't going to pay anything, and the jig is up. So, hmm, stats. Hmm, what's a level? Decisions, decisions. Now, I, I, um, there is a, a stretch where I'm just going to be leveling body for quite a while, and that's going to come in the future, but uh, there's something in particular I want to level it up for. But, let's, uh, Let's get the taunt ability, because there's something on the next level for uh, spirit that's very, very nice. But, uh, check on this guy again. <laughs> I smell a uh, butt coming in here. Mm-hmm. So this is why you don't want to sell the watch, because he comes back around after you complete that uh, quest I just did and says, Oh, um, by the way, that watch, I kind of need it back. Well, we don't really need the money, so let's just give it back to him. That's the thing in this game, um, a lot of the times you will have a, a fair amount of money and uh, there are only a few things you really want to blow your cash on, because a lot of items and gear you'll just find on your own. So uh, you usually are running around quite a bit of pocket change, and this Italian ring, that's actually uh, something we can sell for a fair amount. I'm still holding on to it where I'm at right now, but I think you can sell it for like 125 k or something. And if we come right back inside, we have a follow-up quest. Wait a minute. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, all that work for nothing. Oh. Oh, he's been he's been uh, monitoring my technique, I guess. Hello.
Back to chasing ladies. Oh, he's gonna at least give us a little doll here. Eh, we'll hold on to it. Because we all know that uh, Kiryu is actually the true master of the crane style. But I guess that pretty much wraps it up for this chapter. There is another quest I could do, but it's golf related, and I don't wanna. But, yeah, just looking through our inventory here. But, uh, that covers it for now. So, next time, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna have some fun shenanigans. I'll see y'all then. Take it easy.